into space, right? We got the yes. Money Bomb September 16th and 17th. We're going to start at 11 a.m. on uh, the se September 16th, go overnight, and then finish up at the end of the show, which will now be not 2 p.m. like we normally do. It'll be 3 p.m. on the 17th, so <laughs> 28 hours yeah. I'm looking of, forward uh, to it. I've heard of it's live, pretty live <laughs> power packed radio this will i forget how many money bombs this will be for me but um we haven't done one in a couple of years so i'm really excited yeah. to get on the air and and just uh, especially in those later hours it's commercial free so we're just gonna go there's not gonna be any stoppage of breaks the only time we're gonna get a stop is when we play a video report or something so join us uh september 16th and 17th go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb to learn all the information about what we're doing, why we're having a money bomb, because we haven't had one in a couple of years. And we're doing this to get InfoWars uh, on satellites to shoot it over to networks all over North America. And if you look at the distribution of channels, there's um, about 2,500 independent stations in the United States. You've got uh, about 15, 1,700 in Mexico, a few hundred up in Canada. All of those can potentially be reached with uh, the satellite stream that we're going to be sending out. Uh, right now, we're going to start at five hours a day, four hours for the Alex Jones show, and then one hour of the nightly news. And we're going to let, we're, we're putting it out, it's called free to air. We're just going to put it out there and let people grab it and put their commercials in at, at the designated spots. And so it's a, it's a great way to spread the message, to wake people up, and to, and to get rid of this left-right paradigm mentality that people have been, you know, spellbound under for so long so i'm looking right. forward to it yeah. and uh i think jakari you're going to be coming during the, the news. nightly news yep. you're hosting the news but what's interesting is that night is the debate so we're going to do that mystery science theater 3000 <laughs> basically talk over the goons while they're trying to tell us why, why we need to elect one of them to the highest office in the land <laughs> um getting back to that uh finishing up on on, on the uh, vaccines here's a story uh china finds GlaxoSmithKline. Nearly 500 million for bribery. <laughs> um, and, and if you read the UK company is found guilty of offering bribes to boost its business, and will have to pay the fine uh, to the Chinese government of 3 billion yuan, which is 489 million. So, uh, but what do they make per year? Uh, don't we have that link up as well? How many billions do they make per year? It's like three point something. Yeah. So this, is a, billion. this is a drop in the bucket for these guys. This right. is probably. Um, yeah, 3.4 billion. Jeez. Yeah, that's not going to hurt them too much at all. And this had to do, this didn't even have to, they were just raising prices on people. No, this I is think what this that, is all about. I think that billion was just in the fourth quarter. Right? Oh, yeah, there it is. It went up. In the fourth quarter billion. from a year earlier. Oh, wow. Wow. Wowzers. And that looks like pounds, too. <laughs> Find out their revenue for the year 2014. I, I didn't think it's three, probably in the realm of 12 billion. A yeah, year I didn't think 3.4 billion worldwide. And, you know, that's what they want to do. That's their end goal is to make more money. So that's why they go out and fund politician campaigns. They fund ads. Mm -hmm. They fund studies that aren't true to prove that vaccines are safe and effective. Right. Then they try to force them down everybody's throat. And then they run this PSYOP campaign of making people who don't want to vaccinate their kids seem like they're crazy because they actually read the insert. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they don't want to teach you about proper nutrition and, and proper, proper pH balance. What was that? 23.1 billion. Yeah, there you go. I was uh -huh. wrong. I was. I said twelve billion. Yeah, twenty three point one. That. Pretty pretty big. That's a drop in the bucket. It's okay? always going to be more than you can even. That's conceive. the cost of doing business for GSK. And they're like, you know what? We get caught, we'll pay them off. That's what the banks do when they get caught laundering drug money. You know, mm -hmm. they launder billions. They pay uh, several hundred million. Yeah, it's as clients. if they got a slap on the wrist for two days worth exactly. of business. Or hey, something. you robbed that bank for fifty thousand dollars. You're going to have to pay a fine of three thousand. <laughs> it sounds go. worth it to me. Yeah. <laughs> So, hey, next segment, we're going to be taking your phone calls, 800-259-9231. We have CJ in Michigan, Denise, Dion, Gerald, Patricia. All We will be going to all your calls. Looks like some people want to talk about vaccinations, which is good. we got a CPS call in there. Uh, Gerald uh, also has something about lawyer versus attorney. Maybe he found out what the difference is between a lawyer and an attorney is. Um, they both suck blood. <laughs> yes, they feel. But Adam was one of the good guys, so it was great to have a good... We do need more good guy attorneys yeah. in here. We need more that are going to fight on the side of good and not for the side of evil. Absolutely. It's Rob Dew, Leanne McAdoo, Jakari Jackson, Infowars.com, Overdrive Hour.
It's the Alex Jones Show, and you can catch it at Infowars.com forward slash show. We are at the bottom of the hour of the overdrive hour for the Alex Jones Show. We're going to be doing this regularly now, so hope you enjoy it. <laughs> One more hour to get cover the stories that Alex couldn't cover, co play some of the videos he didn't get to play. And uh, today he took off uh, an hour early and uh, just feeling low blood sugar and just I think the weight of everything that's going on in, you know, in his personal mission is just He's just getting weighed down. It's heavy. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a lot of horrible information. We, we just showed you some of the, the shocking video, those girls on uh, on the floor convulsing after getting the HPV shot. Uh, over on InfoWars, take a look over here. We got uh, Trump says U.S. would have to defend Iran against Israel attack. That's from Kurt Nimmo, cites terms of nuclear agreement. Mm -hmm. Special report, this is from Joe Biggs. He just filed this this morning. Hoax sends police on wild goose chase in Fox Lake manhunt. Uh, if you were on our Ustream channel last night, you could watch the adventures of Joe Biggs um, <laughs> on the police scanner following the cops around. He even he got so fed up that they weren't going and looking for these guys. He started looking for them. Yeah, he went through a cornfield <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, got and freaked out. You can watch it all on Alex Jones Live on our <laughs> Ustream channel. And we're going to be putting some of that footage uh, over his report and playing it tonight on the nightly news. Also, report Trump to sign GOP pledge precluding a third party run. You know, this could hurt him in uh, some ways because if he does sign this, then they can easily just dismiss him and then he has no recourse to come back and say, well, I'm right. going to run third party. Well, that's when they think they're really going to start yeah. exposing all of his bad things. When and if can. he does run third party, then we have Queen Hillary. So it doesn't look good for the the American people are screwed either way. Uh, refugees from U.S. Saudi sponsored Syrian war flood into Europe. This is truly uh, becoming almost biblical with the amount of people they're picking up. There was right. a horrible picture on Drudge yesterday of, of the, the little, little boy who was drowned. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, those images are designed to pull on your heartstrings and say, invite the whole world into your country. Don't fix their problems. But you know what? We caused a lot of the problems. Right. Oh, absolutely. They're yeah. even coming here now. I, I saw they were coming to Dallas. It's so, somewhat mm -hmm. of a hub for the people from Syria. And I definitely understand they want to get out of there. But as you're pointing out, you know, Obama gets out there and he says uh, they crossed the red line referring to Assad. And he's like, well, I didn't say that. Somebody else said that. And then in, at least in one of the videos of the chemical attacks, it has the Al-Qaeda Al Qaeda watermark right. on the video. Yeah, yeah. They think we're that dumb. Yeah. Exactly, and and they do. They do think we're that dumb. They don't think we don't pay attention. They do think we don't have. We have an army of intelligence officers, and it's the American people and, and citizens worldwide who don't want to succumb to the tyranny. Who call in with their tips? Who shoot video? Who make it a point to point out the hypocrisy? Uh, let's see. Neutron bomb used in Yemen? Question mark. That's a John Bowne report. Uh, this is one that I filed last night. Shocking young girls convulse on the floor after HPV shot. Rise of the Inhumans, and Dave Stockman is taking a very not Lego movie uh, look on the economy. He's saying the economy is not awesome. So everything oh, is not awesome. Everything's like, not awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you, but the economy is not doing too well. So, but Leanne, you brought this article in from Science News. Very creepy article. Um, I, I like right here. Ask not what your gadgets can do for you. Ask what you can do for your gadgets. <laughs> So what is this about these nano generators they want to implant into your body to power your wearables? Yes, well, they're implantable, but I guess in these first stages, they're just going to be kind of stuck on you like a Band-Aid or something like that. Um, they're nano Slowly generators. Into the skin, yes. nothing to worry about. They're going to harvest the body's energy to power your devices. And <laughs> I mean, this is... It just makes me think of the Matrix in this scene where all the humans are actually in these pods and the aliens are like harvesting their energy. I mean, we we are these energy conductors, and here they're already working on ways that we can, through our moving our arms around or even breathing, it's harvesting that energy. And so now you won't have to plug in your devices anymore. The things we do for convenience. <laughs> could I remember that that office? I think David did the, did the report about it. Where they had people have chips to use the copy machine. Yeah, like you can yeah. walk up to the I can walk up to the copy machine right now, right now and use yeah. it without <laughs> a chip in my hand. <laughs> well, some companies not not this one though. Let me tell you, um, Infowars definitely prints a lot of paper, but in some companies they actually have quotas at what you can print. So you would have to put in a card and it would measure how many copies you made, and if you went over your limit, then they would take it out of your pay. 
Oh, wow. So that is why you see that in some areas. Not that I'm condoning the use of chips for mm -hmm. copying machines, but that that's how crazy it's become <laughs> and how like penny pinching some of these companies are just like, well, we can only have 12 uh, copies of this and that's it. And yeah, you know, to see who but we don't do that here. We definitely um, unfortunately you know, kill a lot of trees, but it really does. It <laughs> You do see, you know, just laying out the articles before you, you can see all all the right. madness that's going on. Let's go to a caller, CJ, Michigan, in Michigan. What's on your mind? How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll touch on this because I saw you guys uh, talking about earlier, the vaccine video where all the girls are convulsing on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, I actually had a friend over last night who happens to speak Spanish, and he was, uh, I asked him to translate for me. He's kind of uh, out of the loop a little bit, so I was trying to have him watch some stuff. And, uh, uh, he was, I was like, can you translate that for me? And he was like, yeah, they're pretty much saying, you know, it's a big problem in their country. And it doesn't even sound like that, you know, they know that the shots are causing it um, or any of that. You know, they like, and so I mean, they just have girls they, conv convulsing on the floor, but they don't, they're not putting two and two together. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. And they're like asking, like, they're, they're pretty much asking for uh, help on the video. You know, like, mm -hmm. does anybody know what's causing this? You know, uh. Because it can be the shot. Can... Yeah, no, yeah, the doctor yeah, said it's yeah. safe and effective. Young scroll <laughs> exactly, girls fall down exactly. all the time and start convulsing on the floor. It's called beetle mania. Well, that, they're going to tell them they're possessed or something. Yeah. That it's, you know, that's Some, what it is. I think in one of the comments, somebody did say that. It looked like it was uh, an exorcism or something like right. that. Right. And that's what they'll tell them if they don't. They might. And if you're in, you know, if you're not educated enough to go, no, wait a minute, I just took a shot. Right. You know, there's there's people in, uh, in, in these African villages, they're chasing off the healthcare workers because they're like, no, we don't want your damn shots. We don't want your. And Ebola. we don't even need to read the insert. <laughs> we know they're bad. Right. You know, and so kudos to them. Uh, thanks for calling CJ Denise in Texas. You're in our state here. What's going on in Texas? Hey, I just wanted to. Um tie in everything with the CPS, what was going on. Okay. Um, well, with my family, my grandson started having seizures, okay? Uh, he has like a, a abnormal brain. It grows bigger than, it's growing bigger than it should. Okay. My daughter seems to think that, you know, it, it was because of a vaccine when it got but we don't know. They're, they're not going to tell us anything. But every time he has a seizure, seizure CPS is called in. Really? Wow. Okay. So they call the ho yeah. they call the hospital or, or the ambulance to come get him because of the seizures, and then CPS shows up. At the school will. Okay. Oh, so when he has him at school. Okay. This is. I don't know if you know anything about Weatherford, Texas, but it is the most awful town in Texas. It's like the left has taken over the whole ta whole city. It is horrible. I went to visit my daughter. That's where she lives. Well, okay, now now CPS says you know they have to go live with their dad. Okay, and they will not let me see him. The CPS lady says that she does not know me. I am. I have cooperated with her. I gave her my driver's license, my social security, and everything. She told my daughter that she cannot believe that I am not a felon. Okay, wow. I've what? never been in trouble. I am serious. The CPS people are right in there with what what the rest of this country is doing. Oh yeah, absolute power. Yeah. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, and they They're think they have the, absolute power over you. Right. The the thing you need to do, and this is this is what I would do. Um, this is what I would do. Anytime you have interactions with these people, I would be recording it in some way, shape, or form. Texas is a single party consent state, so only one party has to consent to the recording. So anytime you're on the phone with these people, that's what I would be doing. I'm not a lawyer, yeah. but you know you got to protect yourself with dealing with CPS. Like you have to be on the. You you have to assume that they're going to try and take your kids. Exactly, period. and they will use anything. They will come into your house anything. and go, "You have dirty dishes." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. The kids having seizures. Oh, we have to come in. You know, and it's it's caused by these vaccines, and they're right. doing that so they could get your kids, and then they get money for them. It literally is a bounty system. They get money for placing yep. kids in foster care, and that keeps more money coming into the system. It's disgusting, and I'm sorry you're having to deal with it right now, but that's uh, that, that certainly is. Uh, it's very sad, but that is the times we live in, and we have to protect ourselves. Right. And we have to speak out against it, and I'm glad you're speaking out, Denise. Dion, Illinois, 
What's going on? You want to talk about mandatory vaccination? Yeah, there's a uh, mandatory vaccination passed uh, August 3rd in Illinois. Uh, grade 6 through 12 had to take the meningitis vaccine. There's a school in Lake Forest where 95% of the seniors have been vaccinated.